So I'm Ties Oosterijk indeed. I work at TNO uh, as a project officer and business developer in the field of uh, nano risk government. I've worked in uh, several EU projects, among which uh, the NanoRec project, NanoRec2, Guide Nano, Easy for Safe Nano, NanoStream. And uh, we do also a lot of consultancy for, uh, for industry. And uh, with our roadmap at TNO, we intend to, to help the transfer of uh, nanotechnology IP to direct applications in the market and in society. In, in my experience, uh, industry needs practical approaches to deal with uh, nanomaterial risk assessment. Um, that starts with uh, uh, getting the right data, getting good exposure and hazard assessment data. Um, that's still not available on, on the MSDSs, for example, which is a, a tool that they normally use for collecting this data. And they need help with the interpretation of these complex data to say something about the risks that they are dealing with uh, within their companies. In my opinion, uh, as soon as possible in the R&D process, um, that is for the protection of workers in the R&D process that are dealing with uh, potentially hazardous substances. Um, I see the difficulties there in, in sharing this kind of knowledge even with departments uh, in their own companies because of uh, disclosure of information from the R&D uh, uh, departments. Um, but I think it's, uh, it's really important uh, for the protection of uh, R&D personnel. On the, uh, and the second point is that it's also important because of uh, the investment that is done in many R&D uh, projects. Uh, it would be a shame if you invest a lot of money on an R&D project which eventually results in a pro product that uh, cannot reach the market because of health and safety issues.